hey happy monday it is already like 6 30 p.m today and i know it's late but i figured we'd do like a week in my life vlog i think it'll be fun to just pick up the camera every day see what i'm doing keep in mind i am a stay-at-home wife not by choice i would love a job but i don't have one <laughs> so i just kind of stay home every day and just do whatever because I have no kids I just have a dog so um yeah we'll see what I get up to but I just finished showering because I was cleaning the bathtub and the shower and then obviously I showered and I did my skincare and I figured I'd show you my skincare because yesterday I had like a whole ass midlife crisis when my husband and I were like doing our night routine he was just brushing his teeth he does not do skincare but I was doing my skincare and brushing my teeth and I was like just staring at myself in the mirror thinking man like I'm getting fine lines I'm gonna get wrinkles soon I'm gonna get gray soon like my husband just looked at me like you're ridiculous because he does have wrinkles and grays he's a year and a half older than me but it was the wrong crowd <laughs> I was just like mm, okay never mind but I was just going through it I don't know I'm turning 35 this year so like what am I expecting but I was just kind of mad at myself because I've never had a skincare routine I literally just started a consistent skincare routine last year in July of 2023 when I moved to Maryland I started a skincare routine I found the stuff that I really like and I stuck with it and I've been doing my skincare routine every single day but I should have done this like freaking 15 years ago but what can we do I did try throughout the years because I was like a makeup girl I had like a full Alex 9 full of makeup I've gotten rid of all that <laughs> but now I'm all about minimal products I use the same products every day the same like coverage foundation mascara I use bronzer and my eyelids like I can show you that if you want to see it maybe tomorrow but for skincare i will say i have dry skin so keep that in mind the products that i use though are more for like normal skin i'd say um i've never had oily skin so i don't know anyway for skincare in the morning i really don't do much i just do my cellar water eye cream face cream sunscreen and that's it the sunscreen that i use right now is this one the isn't tree hyaluronic acid watery sun gel I don't think this has a scent this is really good really thin really nice i just wanted to try it but my holy grail is still this one the cosrx aloe soothing sun cream spf 50. this one does have a scent though like that aloe scent but both of these are so so good all my holy grail products are korean except for my serum and that was not on purpose that's just what i like but for cleansing i do do a little bit more at night if i'm wearing makeup if i'm not i just use this cleanser which is the make prem low irritant and mild acid foam cleanser i repurchased this many many times i use a foaming net with it i use a little pea size amount and this foams it up so nicely i love this i don't think it has a scent no not that i can smell and I really really like that if I'm wearing makeup I do use the vanilla co clean at zero cleansing balm to take off my makeup like I said I use very I use the MAC face and body which is incredibly low coverage and I typically don't wear concealer or anything like that so there's that and then after all that I'll just use my cellar water just to make sure that I really took everything off and I use these really cool reusable pads that I wash the end of the week my favorite serum is the only non-korean product it is the la roche posay hyla b it's the hyaluronic acid serum it's in the blue bottle i ran out so i don't have it but i've purchased it so many times i will continue to repurchase it it is amazing but because i don't have that i decided to pick up this because my holy grail eye cream is this Mison multifunction formula snail repair eye cream i have repurchased this so many times i love it and because it is snail i decided to try this which is the cosrx advanced snail 92 all-in-one cream 
and I decided to get the Essence because everybody loves this and since I didn't have my serum I was like it might be nice to just have a whole bunch of Snell products they might play nice together I don't know enough about those right now like I said I don't have a holy grail face cream and then the lip balm that I use every single night before bed is the Laneige sleep lip sleeping mask in berry love this so that is my skincare I love those products I will link them all on my Amazon storefront if you want to check any of these out if you have normal to dry skin I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner now because it's 6 30 so my husband's probably gonna be home soon dinner is ready it was really easy it was just chicken and veggies so time to eat Good morning, happy Tuesday. So it's been drizzling all day and it's like a heavy drizzle. So I decided to swap out my Tuesday and Wednesday plans because I don't like to drive when it rains and I was gonna go to Home Goods and to the thrift stores. So I'll do that tomorrow and today I'm gonna film, edit and schedule Friday's video and then probably just keep watching Bridgerton season two, re-watching it and then reading and it'll be a chill day but I'm about to do my makeup and I thought I'd share with you my holy grail makeup products because we did skincare so let's do makeup and I'm gonna try and go through these quickly I have holy grail products for all my makeup routine except for powder because I just don't really care about powder I have very dry skin so I use it sparingly but I keep all my go-to makeup in this little caboodle that I got from Dollar Tree for $1.25 and it's perfect so let's run through them i'm gonna go through them in the order that i would do my face so first of all i use primer my favorite is the hard candy cooling hydrating primer that i just ran out of but i'll pop in a picture um i really like that but i think it's going to be similar to this i just bought this to see if it was similar um because it's just easier to buy this hard candy is available only at walmart or on their website and I never go to Walmart, so I'm hoping this will be similar. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer in the like regular one. I know they have a couple, but this is just the normal one. And the Hard Candy one is a gripping primer. It's sticky to the feel, and I think that's going to be similar. I don't like, like smoothing, pore filling. I like sticky, so that's what that is. After that, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in medium. 4.5 medium all over the face everywhere disco ball <laughs> because I like to be glowy I have dry skin I know that elf makes a similar product but I've never tried it I'll use this up and then maybe try that one and then for foundation this is one of three of like the holy grail products the ones that I will repurchase um, so this is the Mac face and body foundation in the color c3 this is super light coverage like if you want to cover anything this is not it but i don't like the feel of makeup so the lighter coverage the better i really like this i have a lot of like like you know imperfections but i can't do anything about moles and birthmarks and all this stuff like it's just on my skin <laughs> so i don't try and cover them up um i love this so much so light coverage if I ever do have a breakout or something that I want to cover, I use the NYX Pro Fix Stick Concealer. This is a stick concealer, but it is so creamy and easy to just blend out with your finger. I love it. I have three because I never got the shade right. I started with uh, number 10 golden, too dark. Number 8 classic tan, too dark and pink. So I settled with number 6 natural. It is a tad light. But I just mix it in with these and it works fine. Like I said, I rarely use concealer, so it's not a big deal, but that one is my favorite. After that, I set my face, but I don't have a go-to. Right now, I'm just using Maybelline Fit Me in the color medium. It's okay. <laughs> and for bronzer, I do have a favorite. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the color Deep Bronzer. I love this so much. I've repurchased it so many times and I will continue to use it. I use it all over my face and I use it on my crease because I have a lot of lid space to cover. So I use it there. For blush, my favorite is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Party. 
but I ran out and I'm using my second favorite and when I run out I'll buy that one again although I have so many blushes that I need to get through but these two are my favorite that one being number one number two is the Estee Lauder pure color blush in alluring rose which looks like this for blush I like a brownie pink a dusty pink color if you will and that's what those two give me then I move on to my eyebrows for eyebrows I am very low maintenance I actually haven't gotten my eyebrows done in over a year and I'm okay with it this is what they grow to this is how they look I used to just get them cleaned up here I would get wax but I'm okay with it like it's not really bothering me so maybe I'll get them done sometime but really I, I don't think I will um, I use the it brow power in universal taupe I love this I use this a little bit here and a little bit on the tail and that's really it and I love this because you can't really mess it up the color is so forgiving and I really do think it's universal for anyone that's like brunette then I move on to eyes I use the Maybelline eyeshadow primer every day I really like it it's cheap it works and then for eyeshadow as I said I use my bronzer because I have I have pretty big eyes a lot of lid space so I use the bronzer and the crease up and then I use every single day the matte cosmetics eyeshadow it's a matte eyeshadow in brown script it is red brown red brown is the tone that I like on my eyes and my lips I just feel like it looks good on me so that's what I go with and then on the inner corner and sometimes dabbed on the lid I always use Urban Decay Moon Dust in Space Cowboy I love this I will repurchase these over and over again and then we reach holy grail number two <laughs> I love this I will repurchase it over and over again it is the MAC Cosmetics Eye Coal in Costa Rica and I have another one coming tomorrow but I love this this is a red brown eyeliner and I just run it along my lash line and then immediately smudge it with a pencil brush I always smudge my eyeliner I used to really like a stark cat eye and I would use the Kat Von D tattoo liner that's the only one that would work because I can't really use liquid liner because uh, my eyelashes get in the way and then they get clumpy and there's just nothing I can do about it so this just works out better for me now that I like a more natural look anyway eyelashes I don't have a go-to I use whatever um, is on sale when I run out of mascara right now that happens to be Maybelline Mega Plush but anything will do I don't use waterproof or anything like that and then lip products I usually use the same lip pencil all the time which is the NYX lip pencil in the color ever it is like a brownie peachy lip pencil I really like it it works well for me I also have a Milani one that I really like but I'm using that one up right now and then we reach holy grail number three repurchased so many times I hope it's still available uh, but it is the Bia lip stain yeah lip stain in the color final note and this is really cool it goes on like a liquid lipstick but it is so comfortable again red brown and the reason that this is my third holy grail is because it wears off beautifully like it not only lasts so long but when it wears off it just leaves you with the most even beautiful lip stain like i freaking love it and actually I'll wear it today just so that you can see how it wears off because I can eat I can drink I can do everything and not apply it not once and let it wear off and it's just perfect so that's that and then if I don't need something long wear I will wear the Milani matte lipstick in the color desire which is a brown lipstick and I will either wear it full on or just dab it and smudge it with my finger and if I want to be extra low maintenance then I wear the Milani lip oil in blackberry agave I love these I have so many shades they're low maintenance they're moisturizing and then I set it all off with Milani make it last setting spray and that's it that is everything so I'm sure I've been talking forever 
let me go ahead and get all this on my face film and then maybe catch up with you later on it is 7 p.m actually it's 7 15 um and my husband's home he's taking a nap and usually by this time we are eating dinner but i got caught up watching richardson so i'm gonna start prepping dinner i'm probably gonna make stir fry we'll see i'll share with you what i make but i came on here to show you the lip <laughs> i'm sure i popped in an image of when i did my makeup before i filmed and this is how it's worn down after about seven hours and eating and drinking this is what it looks like i love this product so 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 much i hope they still make it and i'll link it down below but i love it i need to buy a backup because i like it that much <laughs> and this color specifically i think just really works for me so yeah i'm gonna cook i'm gonna listen to an audiobook i've been listening to once upon a broken heart by stephanie garber and i think i'm about 66 percent in and i'm not loving it i'm not hating it but it's just kind of boring i feel like i feel like the way i did reading the caraval trilogy it's just not very exciting um so hopefully the end is okay the end is better if not it's just gonna be a very middling three stars um and after dinner i'm probably gonna edit that video just so i can be done with it and then i'll probably finish my night finishing love on the brain by ali hazelwood because i'm almost done with that one also very mid i'm not having <laughs> luck um so i might have to try and do the whole five star thing again and really pull stuff that i think i'm gonna love instead of things that have been on my tbr but anyway let's get to cooking and doing all that stuff and i'll probably talk to you again tomorrow it's ready super easy super fast and some crystal light in my new little bear cup which i love and i'm gonna watch bridgerton and then edit
good morning happy wednesday as you can see i am home i did not go to the stores like i planned to because not only is it drizzly today but it is also super windy and cold so my husband's like just stay home it's supposed to fully go away by friday so hopefully it does if not not a big deal i didn't need to go anywhere because i need to it was just a want but i just got a package um you know we did the usual i woke up showered did my skincare took butters down got the mail and i had a package and i tore it like a simpleton because it was human proof i couldn't open it and so that's what i did and all that for these three things but i told you yesterday that i was just getting some backups i'm just gonna make sure it's the right product and yeah today should be pretty chill um i'm gonna clean i need to clean up the kitchen from last night i need to do laundry i have a lot of laundry to do actually because i need to wash the bedding and then our hampers full i usually wait till our hampers full because it doesn't fill up super fast since we're two people mac eyeliner in costa riche eye comb like i talked about yesterday a brand new one i freaking love it um yeah and then i just I guess I'm gonna dust and vacuum and mop, listen to audiobooks. They also gave me two samples of the Mac Fix Plus, which I have not used since I was like a teenager. Here's a little baby one. <laughs> so I guess that's cool. I'll try it. I remember liking it in the past, but it's so expensive that really. I don't think that I would repurchase it but yeah I um probably won't talk too much today because of that last night I did finish love on the brain by Ali Hazelwood which was all right I'm being a little harsh with my ratings but sorry I keep moving the camera um I don't know I'm just in a mood <laughs> I guess but Today I'm going to finish Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I, I'm almost done. I have it on audio and obviously I have the physical book. So I'm literally almost done. And again, I don't see this being highly rated for me. Unless something happens, it's not going to be highly rated. And rating. And that's it. That is the day. I am still tired. Um, but... <sighs> I gotta get the day started.
Good evening. It's already like six. Dude, I... Man, it's been a day. It's been a day. I struggled so much filming today and doesn't it look beautiful outside? Doesn't it look so sunny? Well, that just happened because all day it's been freaking raining. It's been so annoying. I was having so much trouble with my freaking camera, with the footage. The memory kept getting full. I have had a day. <laughs> I have had a day and it's not been a good day, but I've been very energized. I've been full of energy recently, so that's been good. Um, and yeah, I filmed an impromptu video that you'll see soon. I don't know when this vlog's going up, so I don't know. It was my April TBR that I literally decided to do at the very last minute when it was freaking dark. It looked like it was nighttime and now the sun's out, which is annoying, but it's okay we will make it through so all i'm gonna do today is edit and schedule that video um and then start dinner because my husband's probably gonna come home soon uh and we'll see if i'm gonna check the weather because it better not rain tomorrow i want to go to the thrift store because i want to film a haul i have a couple books coming in i have a book outlet order i got my just for the summer new release book by Abby Jimenez Barnes and Noble delivered that today so I have a lot of videos that I want to work on but I need to read for them I can't just film while <laughs> reading um I did do a TBR video and picked up my books but yeah it's probably gonna be a chill day I finished filming I'm gonna edit I'm gonna make dinner I'm gonna read and that's really it so not really much to tell you. <clears throat> He's here. Bye. Good morning. So I just dropped off my husband at work and now I'm gonna go to Home Goods, thrifting. I'm gonna take you along. Hopefully we find some good stuff. I don't wanna buy too much stuff, but Hopefully we find something, so let's get to it, because it's early, there's probably going to be a lot of traffic.
happy sunday it is officially the end of the week we have made it to the end of the week thanks so much for spending time with me it was actually really fun to pick up the camera every day and just kind of chat because <laughs> i'm always alone but yeah i figured i'd show you a couple things that i picked up this weekend because i know we kind of sped through the weekend but it was just fun i was just having a fun time so i didn't want to you know be whipping up the camera when i was spending time with my husband but yeah let's go through it i'm pretty sure i showed you everything that we did though because i did make it a point to do that but um when i went shopping at the thrift stores i really did not have good luck because and i'm pretty sure that i caught it on camera when they had the crates out like they were barely stocking i showed up too early i only found two books that day and that's because i went to three thrift stores but i only found two books one for me and then one for one of you because i mentioned i'm doing an al hazelwood video um and they had a copy of check and main and it's in pretty amazing condition like there's a little bit of scuffing here on the words but other than that it's in absolutely great condition so i figured i'd pick it up and give it away to one of you so stay tuned for that video i'm not sure when it's coming but it is coming um and then yeah i'll show the rest in like a probably a haul because i do have i think i have about 10 books right now but i have fairy loot coming in the romanticy coming in the adult box coming in so we'll share that later uh but then on Friday, I had gone to Marshalls and Home Goods as well as the thrift stores. And Marshalls and Home Goods were stocked. Like they had so much stuff on the shelves. And then a ton of stuff had red stickers, a bunch of clearance. And then they were bringing out more product. Like I don't even know where they were going to stick all that stuff because there was so much stuff already on the shelves. But I did control myself because I am moving and a lot of the stuff that I was liking was glass. Like they had these beautiful glass mushrooms and I really like mushrooms, but it's just not a good idea. They'll probably break on our move. So I didn't get those, but I did pick up this one glass item because I could not help myself. It is a little glass with a little like balloon animal dog in it. It's so cute. I have no idea what I'll use this for. It is absolutely not practical, but it was cute. I got some other like house stuff, like toothbrush covers and all these other things. I got a little headband, which I thought was really cute because I really love headbands and they're fairly inexpensive there. And then I got this little guy. I couldn't pass him up. I was like, Ugh, I should not get this, but I couldn't pass it up. And when I got home on Friday, my brother had texted me a picture of this same exact little mushroom. Um, and it's funny because he's in Texas and I'm in Maryland and I just thought it was funny that he took a picture of the exact one that I had bought. Um, and it is this little sage mushroom ambient light. I have never been a green girl. It's never been a color that I've been drawn to, but recently, like within the past year and a half, maybe two years i've really been into green i even got butters a new bed that is green in this color i just love it so i got this little guy and i'll probably try and fit him somewhere in my shelves and then like i said we did go to barnes i picked up one book um and then we just walked around we got a cheesecake at cheesecake factory and then i went to books a million before the movie started because we had like a hour and a half window um and i saw this and i had never seen these i hadn't seen these online in person i literally didn't know they existed so when i saw them i was like mm, i have to get them and there were 18 dollars so i was just like mm. but i had to get them and they had every single variation that they make they had it and of course it is the funko bitty pops lord of the rings edition and i ended up getting the one that has Gladriel, Legolas, and Gimli, and then I don't know who I'm going to get for the mystery, but I'm going to display this with my Lord of the Rings box set for sure. They're super cute. And that was it. Like I said, it was a really fun weekend. Right now we're getting uh, ready to go have some Japanese food and then grocery shop, and that'll be it. But as I said, thank you so much for spending time with me. Let me know what you thought about just hanging out you know not so much like book focus but just hanging out 
and occasionally talking about books. Um, as always, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon with another one. Bye.